In this problem, we're given the cumulative density function f x in this form. We need to calculate the mean. And uh, the key for solving to solving this problem is to first of all verify that your density function, cumulative function, is smooth, it's continuous, there's no jump. If there's a jump, you have to consider uh, that in the in the in the mean calculation. Let's let's walk through this here in this case here. See your uh, draw a diagram here. This is your x. This is your f x cumulative density function, and your your function is f x equals five. Now it becomes one. Okay, and uh, if x is zero, less than zero, your cumulative density function is zero. Then the function becomes like a curve like this. Okay. And uh, if you draw the diagram, you, you, would, you don't see any jump. You can see it's pretty smooth here. So you can just use it if there's a continuous. So then you can just write the formula ex equals x fx dx. Okay. So if there's a jump, for example, it, it's a diagram become like this. Okay. If this is x fx. This is, for example, this is two. Suppose there's a jump here. Okay, if your density cumulative density function becomes this, so there's a jump. Uh, this uh, at x equals two, then you had to calculate the increase of your density function. At uh, basically, your probability x equals two is the change of the cumulative density function. When your x approaches two from the right hand side, minus the cumulative density function x approaches two from less than two side. Okay, basically it's the height of the jump. Then that's then when you do the calculation, you have to add e x equals x f x dx plus this jump, the the density density function at x equals two times two. Okay, so make sure there's no jumps. That's why I want to caution you here. Just uh, warn you, you should check your there's a jump or not before you can write this formula. Okay, if you naively write this, you can get into trouble when there's a jump. But fortunately, in this case, there's no jump here, so you should be you're lucky here. If you just even naively write this formula, you're fine. Okay, there will be other problem in my in in, in perhaps in another different set of my practice problem you will see. Uh, that you will be you will see a problem there. There's a density jump here, but in this case, there's no jump, so this formula is okay. And uh, what is f x? Okay, f x equal derivative of the cumulative density function. You can see if x less than zero, taking derivative becomes zero. Constant derivative is zero. If x is greater than or equal to zero and no more than five, becomes zero point zero eight x. Then if your x is greater than or uh, greater than five, then your density function become one, okay? Become zero. So that really tell me the range of x is be is this range, okay? It's between uh, zero and five. So you just need to focus on this one. So so it becomes integral x from zero to five, then x. 0.08x dx, and this is just a very simple integral, right? It becomes the one third of 0.08x cube x from 0 to 5, and uh, basically one third of 0.08 times 5 cube equals 3.33. So the answer is B. Okay, so. Uh, we're not done yet. We, although we solve, although we solve this problem, I want to point you. There's a shortcut in solving this. The shortcut is if your x is the non-negative, okay, then and it's non-negative, suppose it's continuous. So you, what you can do is just mean of x to the nth power equals the typical solution will be x from zero to infinity to an integral x to the nth power f x dx. Okay, that's a typical approach, but you can use a survival function approach. The survival function approach is integral zero x from zero to infinity. Survival function of x. I'm going to explain what survival function is in a little bit. Okay, then times derivative x to the nth power. Okay, your survival function 
equals complement. Survival function is a complement of the cumulative density function. Okay? So your formula becomes e x to the nth power is from integral 0 to infinity 1 minus the cumulative density function times derivative of x to the nth power equals, if you want to expand this term, becomes okay, um, right here. Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to clean the screen a little bit here, so easier to see here. Okay, so now becomes zero to infinity, one minus cumulative density function, and the x to the n minus one power dx. So this is the formula you can you can use. Okay? This kind of when your x is not negative, make sure you have this condition met. met okay? If your x is negative, then this formula will not work. So let's go through this uh, uh, this calculation here. Okay? We know the we know f x equals we didn't know that is the uh, one is the zero point zero for x squared. Your x is basic from 0 to 5. Your survival function is 1 minus 0 0.0 for x squared. So we're going to do an integral. E x is from x from 0 to 5. Survival function 1 minus 0 0.0 for x cubed squared dx to the first power, which is the same as dx. Okay, this becomes x minus 1 third 0 0.0 for x cubed 0 to 5 becomes 5 minus 1 third 0 0.04 5 to the third power. And if you do the calculation, you get exactly the same, 3.33. 3. 